So, uh, who is English speaking? Yeah. Very good. Good afternoon. <laughs> All the Flemish students. As a Flemish guy, I'm honored to talk in uh, English to you. And together with Eric, I'm Luc Augustinis. I work with Peleman Industries, actually our CEO. Mrs. Peleman is sitting there watching me, how I perform on stage for you this afternoon. So please don't put me in stress. And Eric is working for a Swiss company, but he's also Belgian, uh, Imaging Solutions. We're going to make a presentation about lay flat books. And as indeed it was announced, I, I saw you just got a book, right? Can you do me a favor and open it? In the middle somewhere, try to open it in the middle. And then let go one hand. What do you think about it? It's exactly what we're going to show you this afternoon in this short session how we can change that, huh? how we can make books lay flat. And uh, I want to start with something. You young generation and also people experienced in this business, we are all benefiting from the fact that our business is going to increase. Because if people will stop printing, there will be no need for graphical designers to produce something and create something which will be printed, right? And uh, last uh, month, at the kickoff meeting of the Flemish Innovation Center for the Graphic Communication, there is a, a center like this, they have a booth here around the corner. They organized a kickoff meeting and we welcomed there an American lady from a company called InfoTrends. And they are specialized in analyzing with surveys, big surveys, what will be the future of our business. And as you can see eh, in, the, in the graphic design, yes, thank God, it's increasing. The line is going up. So in the future, it is shown that people will print more than today. And in the second slide, she also showed what will be the more popular applications. What will people print then? One-offs or ten-offs or 20 pieces. And you can see the biggest growth line is books. Now we happen to be in that business, eh, Eric, of books. And both of us, we work for different companies. And both companies developed a solution to make books read them more comfortably, that they lay open better. Eric will start with his presentation to show you and explain you with some samples how their technology works. Thank you, Luc. So, Luc put it right. It is all about visibility. And the name we have for that type of books is called lay flat binding. So as well, Pelaman Industries as Imaging Solutions have a solution for that. And as Luke told you about books that will perform better than they used to perform in the future, there was a period, let's say, over the last five, six years, where there was a tendency to think and to believe that books would slowly disappear. Well, recent figures show that this is not the case so there's a big future for books so you as a students as students in graphic industry are oriented towards graphic design i don't exactly know please believe that there is a big future for everything which is graphical and especially what is books we're talking a little bit about technology, and I have made a graph there for you uh, showing various methods of binding. And one of them, to the right, uh, to the right, you see the soon binding. So what I show you there are binding techniques that, in one way or another, all allow for books to lay open, to lay open in one way or another. Best example, for example, is wiro binding. It's a very convenient, but a somewhat complicated way of binding for textbooks, for catalogs, but a little bit uh, outdated and maybe also a little bit uh, complicated to uh, recycle. You see soon binding, you know, high quality books are often uh, bound with soon binding. You have saddle stitching, a very convenient and cheap way of uh, making thin books or thin brochures. And then, of course, perfect binding, something that has come up in the last years, but with a big disadvantage of 
books to close again. So a book uh, that is perfect bind is often a book that when you lay it on the table will immediately close. And now we come to the point where we want to come, as uh, Luke already uh, aborted, the lay flat binding. A lay flat binding is a technique where you have a book completely laying open, whether it's a textbook where you want to have a good readability or a book with images where you will have the images completely laying flat and fully open and easily visible. Just to show you this, I brought some samples. I think it's better to, uh, to show you things instead of just talking about it. So I brought my magic box and there's nobody in here. It's just samples that I wanted to show you. Things like these, and I want to give them to you, then you can hand them over to your, uh, to your colleagues. And if you look at this, just pass it on, please. And in the meanwhile, I will uh, show you something that I have here. It's OK, yeah. So a big, big book that is laying completely flat. So whether it is bound with a Pelham technique or with the imaging solutions technique, you will have a book that, when you turn the pages, won't ever close. And with a bit big advantage than when you... I have a nice picture here for you. Or you want to see the Ferrari, perhaps. That's maybe better. So where you have, if in your layout, you want to play with big images, you can put them over the double spread. So no, no image or text disappearing in the spine. So easy layouting and taking full advantage of the fact that you have high quality images that you want to show. One of the things that come with it, with this binding technique, is also that you have the opportunity to make much bigger books. So in most cases, the industry is oriented towards A4 sizes. One way or another, you come to A4, A4 portrait, A4 landscape, or something that ha is related to the A4 size. Also, binding machines are oriented towards that. So you have an open size of A3s. Well, here you can exceed these sizes. Here you have a book that has an open width of 90 centimeters and 45 centimeters high. So something very special, something that is being used in photo books, but something that also can be used for marketing collateral, for example. So if you want to make, you maybe not, but in the future you want to make an uh, impression on your customer. If you want them to have something from you, that is nicely designed, but that they, that they won't ever throw away, that they will keep forever, this is the kind of binding technique you will want to go for. Because it's easily visible, but also because it is something that feels like something you don't want to miss anymore. It's the kind of things that you cannot even put in your bookshelf because it's too big for it, so you'll have it on the table. Something to discuss, something to show to people. Something that in marketing and in, in sales is an easy tool for presenting things. So I talked about some advantages and I think most of the topics that are on my slide there, I, I, um, I brought it up already. But I also want for those who are interested to show you the machine that can do. Luke will afterwards show his machine, the one that can do. Our machine is a machine made in Switzerland and it's an all-in-one machine. In the graphic workflow you often find a solution where you have a device that cuts the paper, then creases it, then folds it, then glues it to come to a book or a brochure or a soft cover. With our machine you just put in the paper at one side and what comes out of it is a fully finished book block. So the creasing, the folding, the gluing, which is a part of the normal workflow, is being done all in one on one machine. So to repeat and to end, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I want to 
show you a couple of samples of things that you can do with uh, this binding technique. I showed you the one big book, but what you could also do is, for example, make a soft cover. So it doesn't necessarily has to be uh, a cover, a hardcover book. It can also be a soft cover. Very elegant, easy to transport, and maybe in some cases also the better tool to show to to people. Please pass it on. And then, as you are a very young audience, you may ask yourself, what's in for me? What can I do? What could I, for example, make with these binding techniques? Well, I have some samples of things that you can easily order through the internet. So if you go on online websites that uh, offer booklets or you search for small photo books, small booklets, lay flat booklets, that kind of uh, search terms, you can make these small books easily uploadable. The images can be uploaded from your smartphone whilst you're in the train, whilst you're at home on the couch. You don't need a PC, you just upload your images and booklets like these will, will arrive with you the next day or the day after. And you won't have these books that are stitched together. You will have nicely finished books that cost like a visit to, if I may say, McDonald's. Seven, eight euros and uh, you will have a uh, thing you will never forget. You can share with your uh, friends, with your family. That is one of the things you can do and uh, I hope you like it. Thank you. It's up to you, uh, Luc. All right, and you like it? Yeah. You can see it's quite prestigious. Eh? It's a very it gives you a very nice open view of these big pictures. Meanwhile, while Imaging Solutions, the Swiss company, was developing this technology to make these books lay flat, also ourselves as a company, we were also looking at some solution to make books lay flat as well but we're using a different technology and I think also a different application a di for different kind of books. Uh, we saw, we already knew what Imaging Solutions was doing and as you can see from the samples, it's typically an application for photo books, uh, for wedding albums, but also more and more for marketing applications for some companies who want to stand out from the rest with something special. Now on the other hand, there are a lot of books being produced that are not maybe that important or not maybe that kind of prestigious pictures or wedding or photo albums, but a, uh, a training course book from your high school or university when you have to buy online for your studies some book that you will use in the courses and you order it online and you receive it just like the book that you received a few minutes ago. And uh, we were looking for some solution that works very well with that kind of application. So we developed ourselves uh, like the Swiss people, we also developed a machine. A machine that makes each page of the book lay flat. Different from their technology, we will not use a print that goes over two pages. Every page will be on its own, uh, like a normal book, let's say. So how do we do that? And I have a little sample of a sheet here. But do me a favor, after we finished here and there's a bit of a break, we have in the back of the room here, we're doing demos with that machine. So you can actually see it for yourself and I recognize some faces of some people who were already there this morning. So what do we do? We take a sheet of a book that is already printed, or not, doesn't really matter. We run it through the machine and the machine is putting a special twist in the paper. Like you would, like you would actually do it if you want with your fingers, with your hands twist it around and press it with your nails. That is the second step that is happening in the machine. Like we kind of break the fibers in each sheet. And we do it in both directions, flipping this edge of the paper. And then our sheet, our paper remembers where we broke that fiber. See how it huh, folds open in both directions. And then after this process has taken place, then the company who is producing these books, then they will bind all these individual sheets into one book cover. So that's how that process works. 
I heard some people have an assignment here to study something more about the workflow of a printing company. So we put our machine there in yellow and blue in an existing workflow of a typical book production company. Eh? So on the left hand side you see a, a, a printer the printer that will print the images or the text on the, on the book pages. Then the pages will be cut to size of the book. Then our V paper tower, the machine will run each sheet through our device, put the folds, the twists in the paper. Then the, uh, the book will be bound. And finally, the book that you received also will be cut with a clean cloth on the side so it looks like a real professional book. I also put an overview of some applications and uh, we're almost there at the end of the presentation. But you can see also that the photo books are there because also some photo books are done with a simple soft cover around. Uh, what is very popular nowadays are customized children books. Uh, there are websites online where you can put in the name of your baby and the name of the teacher and the name of the, the dog and the favorite color of your child and then suddenly this software is producing a book with that story with the name of your child and everything in there. So also these kind of books they are important when you read them with your child that they lay open nicely otherwise it's a nightmare for the children to keep the book open. Uh, I'm sure you understand that. Here with uh, recipe books, uh, yearbooks in schools. Huh? Then on the other hand, there are magazines. A lot of magazines have the same issue. They use like nice thick paper, but it won't lay open by itself. And I want to end with the one uh, on the bottom. Out of print books. Out of print books, something special. It means that uh, some books that were popular before, Harry Potter books, huh, for an example, they have been popular before. They sold a lot of these books, but at a certain moment, the publisher has to decide, will we still keep this book available or not? If yes, maybe we have to print another 5,000. But what happens if we don't sell them? It's the publisher that has to pay for it. So they came up with this idea that they don't want to print any 1,000 books anymore and keep them on the shelves or in a warehouse, but they only print a book when somebody wants it. So the book is still available, but you have to wait one or two days before you get it, and your order of your book will be produced especially for you. Of course, this is a beautiful application to make that book also uh, better lay flat. And I was uh, privileged to attend a, uh, a seminar uh, last year. It was in London. And uh, these people of the seminar, they invited the publishers, the book publishers, on one hand of the scene, and on the other hand of the scene were the book producers. And they were into discussion. And the book producers were asking the book publishers, what do you think about our books, the way we produce them now? like one and we produce one and another one. Do they look the same like, like the original Harry Potter book? And the publisher said, yes, compared to 10 years ago, now your books look really very much the same. It's for an amateur impossible to see the difference, whether it was a book that we produced 5,000 copies or only one copy. Even the paper that is being used today is not anymore the copy paper that people were using to produce books 10 years ago. Now it is really book paper. Huh? But they said, you have to do something about it. And that is my message. I happen to have a name, my name is Augustinus, that's the name of a, of, a, of a Catholic saint. So sometimes I have the habit to be like a preacher also somewhere. Eh? And this is our message to the people in the industry of printing books. We have to do something about our product. Because 10 years ago, suddenly there came these e-readers. And people started to download books and start to read them on, a, on an e-reader or a tablet. And they, they were selling those devices as a, a very comfortable tool because on one little tablet, you could store thousands of books with you. When you go on holiday, you can read any book you want. People that were printing books, they said, yeah, but uh, it's not the same. You don't have the same feeling. But then the people selling the tablets, they said, yes, and we even use now a special e-ink that doesn't make your eyes that tired after reading so long. Huh? So the people in the industry of the publishers, they said, hey guys, who, you that produce all these books, do something about it. Make your printed book again more fashionable, again more comfortable that it lays open. Because the people who are selling the e-readers, they say you can read your book in your tablet or your e-reader with one hand. Well, now with our solution, also you can. So this is an opportunity we're getting as people in the printing industry to make the book more sexy again, more attractive, more comfortable, more user experience in it. So my daughter is also a student at the university. 
she said, uh, Dad, if I need a book for my university studies, and instead of this hard book to open, I can have another version of it that lays open nicely, maybe it will cost me one euro more to get the comfortable version of the book. What do you think as a dad what I will say? Pretty much okay, right? Or I'll take it out of her drinking budget. I don't think so. So thank you very much for listening to both of us and enjoy the rest of the presentations this afternoon. Thank you, Luke. So uh, now you're going down to your CEO to uh, negotiate a race. I will do my very best. I like that. And uh, now, you know, I, I just have to apologize because you are not in the printing industry yet. So when he says one euro, that adds up to about 255 euros retail. <laughs> <laughs> no.